<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to another exciting edition of the Time Goes Breakfast Club, where we do our public service announcements. I am Indy Nidell, and Astrid, and Sparty, and Yoram are with me. And of course, Vika is behind the camera, because Meyer cannot be here today. He is out getting paprika chips, I think. And Vika? Um, yeah, we have a few things to talk about today. Uh, let's see. First off, stuff that's going to happen over the summer. Um, over on our World War II channel, we have a bunch of cool stuff. We have some specials coming out mm -hmm. that involve things like drugs, do they not? Yes. And? Because, actually, what? Adolf was a drug head. Spoilers, Astrid. Uh, Adolf Hitler may or may not have done drugs. You'll have to watch things and find out. <laughs> and there may or may not have been a massive legal drug trade going on in Central Europe. Uh, but you should watch this. We have one special that's already out. And there's another one that's coming out soon, and we'll be doing okay. more cool special stuff um, over the summer. And you've probably noticed if you're fans of the World War II channel. So, uh, yeah, more and more stuff all the time. And that's also been the reason why we haven't really had time to do uh, Between Two Wars. But the fact is that, well, the reason why we're sitting here at the Breakfast Club the, today is that we have been shooting the last couple of days, and we did shoot new Between Two Wars episodes. So they'll be coming your way anytime soon. Yep. But it's not just between two wars that we have uh, now recently done new episodes of. We've made incredible progress in the last, well, nine months since we started doing World War II in general, because that's how everything has really gotten rolling forward. The team has grown. Uh, I think you can see the quality of the episodes going up. Every single episode yeah. is getting better, both... We're, I think we're getting better at writing, even. Um, you know, we're pretty good at writing from the get-go, but but we... No, but I mean, especially like with the lighting and the camera work with, with Maya and, and Vika's editing and Irina and them, yeah. it's really brilliant. Yeah. I mean, that would not be possible, first of all, without your support that you give us on Patreon. And second of all, that support leads to that we have a growing team. We've really, we've put together a great team. Of, well, Astrid's managing them. Uh, we have a great team. There is... Vika behind the camera, who is doing an incredible job in editing, and not to forget Rina, yeah. who is actually sitting in Warsaw. Everybody knows Eastry. Uh, he's doing these incredible maps that everybody loves. And every time I look at a, um, an episode when it's done by, by Eastry, I get so excited with all these movements of the different battalions i mean it's mm. really really impressive because you really get a good view of what is going on and ben's done some research for me so thank you ben okay and of course marcus has done plenty of research for us too. marcus has done a, plenty of yeah. uh, research and of course my friend Joram. now you and you, you and you together you three actually wrote these specials that that the, that are the one that's out and one coming out I, really I hosted funny. them. Yeah. I hosted them. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do any too much spoilers, but I'm going to say uh, a name, and you'll just have to make of it what you will. Walter Weiss. Yes. Now, you, you don't know it yet, but you will. Walter <laughs> Weiss. It was really fun doing a collaborative episode, actually, uh, where we really wrote it together, because I mean, normally we have a lot of people researching episodes, but then we write them and often enough Indy does the research he does all of the research for World War II anyway and I do a lot of my own research but we're going to change that so there are more people coming up on the team as well we've got our uh, we've got a couple of interns we've got Francis who's joining us now we're talking to another guy we've got an intern coming in from Denmark Runa who's going to join us mid-August and we have uh, volunteers who are helping us with editing, uh, like Daniel in, in, in the States. Mark, of course, uh, actually, technically speaking, Irina's boss, thought it was so fun to work with this project that he decided that he wanted to edit some episodes himself. So he's, he's now yeah, editing an episode a month. And uh, uh, we've got that, uh, Francis' great work on that Between Two Wars stuff, too. That was good fun. Yeah, it's good fun. So with a growing team, you know, that's all fine. But I think it's a bit of a challenge for you, Astrid, in the same time, isn't it? It is a big challenge um, because we have uh, trouble with YouTube. Uh, we're not getting recommended enough. Um, and we get demonetized, of course. And we get demonetized. So we really only depend on patrons and uh, the Time Ghost Army to support whatever we're doing here. But the recommendation thing is important because since we don't get recommended, and Barty's, he's around the numbers, we don't get recommended uh, by, by the YouTube algorithm, which means 
in order for more people to see more of our stuff, we need to rely on you guys to like really share the heck out of our episodes because that is the that is how they're going to reach more people. I mean, we do reach a fair amount, but we can see numbers. Episodes that are properly monetized and recommended, they do like 50,000 more views in the first three days than other ones, <laughs> which are equally good and equally interesting and equally tagged, you know, with, 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 with tag names. It is, it is entirely because of the demonetization and the recommendation. And like Indy said, I have ran the numbers on it. And YouTube keeps on telling us that they're not uh, recommending demonetized videos less than they are recommending videos that are monetized. But our numbers, and that's the numbers coming from YouTube themselves, shows a completely different picture. I looked at all of the videos that we have had monetized and all of the videos that we did not get monetized over the last nine months. And it turns out that the number of times that they are shown under another video as a recommended video is 50 to 60% lower when they are demonetized. And that makes a huge difference because that also means that there is a lesser potential for people to click. The algorithm really, really reacts to the click rates on the, uh, on the videos. So less videos shown, less clicks means less recommendation. So you have a negative feedback circle and that negative feedback circle leads to less views and less subscribers. Less subscribers means less patrons. And that is a real problem. In essence, YouTube is by doing that, censoring our content. I know they don't intend to do that because they don't mind our content at all. There's no rule against what we do and we talk to them and they love what we do and whatnot. But that, those are the effects of the algorithm. If you think about it, the kind of content that we do is the kind of content that public broadcasters invest a lot of money into. Uh, there's a lot of private television channels out there that do similar content to what we do. Their sponsors love it. You can look at five videos that we have and three of them will be monetized and two won't be monetized. They have the same tags, they have the same content. Well, not the same, but the same level of violence, yeah. the same, everything is like similar. There is just no method to it. We used to be able to talk to them and they would reinstate monetization. They just won't do it anymore. So we've given up because I would spend, I mean, when I was doing that, we had one video coming out a week. I would spend a full working day dealing with YouTube just to get them to put the monetization back on. So first of all, it just takes too much time for me. Second of all, now they don't do it at all anyway. Well, the essence is that for, although we understand all of that, the reality for us, and, and we appreciate YouTube, they you know, do a lot of good work for us. We do have a problem because we're not getting the word out that we exist out there, at least not via YouTube. Now we're doing other things in order to get the word out. Yeah, we were just interviewed on on ABC News live over D-Day because we're World War II guys. And so that's nice that we get some plugs and some write-ups and things in regular mainstream media. But that doesn't actually drive a whole lot of subscriptions as it in terms of reality. People think, oh, it's really cool that you're doing it. But we get our subscribers from recommendations on YouTube. Mm -hmm. That's why you should keep sharing. Okay. Uh, you know what I'd like to know? What? I'd like to know what is the favorite episode that we have done no matter which channel we did it on, what is the favorite episode? Hmm. Tell us that in the comments. Actually, my favorite one that we ever filmed was one that hasn't come out yet. We filmed a couple of uh, World Dictionaries that we haven't had time to edit. We filmed them last year. The one for L, for Lawman, for t about Tom Horn. That's my, but that doesn't count for them because they haven't seen it. I think the May 18th uh, episode, the double episode, it might be my favorite one of World War II so far. I think all of the ones with Sparty we made as hosts, we should probably just delete. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I rarely use the word disgraceful. Disgraceful, but but I think in this case, in this case, I mean, I I know you tried, and we respect that, right? We do, we do. Vika, it's such a pleasure Vika's to work with these the guys. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't think we have anything else to add. Oh, hey, uh, here's here's our other friend, oh, Paris. Paris. There's my friend, Paris. Um, we need to come up with a good. He's our choreographer. Uh, Para is visiting as choreographer and he's doing our sound. And let's see, so from Para and Joachim and Vike and Astrid and Joram and Sparty and Indy, that is all for today's exciting episode of the Time Ghost Breakfast Club. We shall fight them on the plates. <laughs> we shall fight them in the coffee. You can turn the camera off at any time that you would like to do so, VK. I require some more whiskey. 
boy. 